Her waist is so small that when people noticed this, her videos immediately blew up. And while her videos attract some people who adore her and call her perfect. No, this can't be real. You are so pretty girl. Wow. God really had favorites. God, I'm in love with you. Her videos also caught the attention of haters. Someone starved themselves. Chad, is this real? I like eating. Thanks. But Sophia decided to ignore them and just continue with her life. However, this did little to nothing for her because as she continues to shrug off her bashers, they throw her hate even more. This has to be some type of surgery. Nobody waste looks like that. Just stop, please. Do you eat? They accuse her of using apps and tools to edit her videos and using filters all for clout. Do you use CapCut or something? But that's not all because people even thought that she has health problems. And it seems like these haters won't stop hating on her because they started pointing out the way she responds to other people's kind comments. Hope you're okay. LMAO. Wild coming from you wrist check? Are you okay? Looked at you and screamed in terror. The massive amount of hate that Sophia's receiving is enough for someone to give up. But Sophia turns out to be a no-quitter because instead of being affected, she decides to continue doing what she loves. Does it bother you at all then when you get hate? Or like, you don't care anymore? I don't care. Like they're always, they're always ugly. They're always either ugly or fat or losers. I'm sorry, let me, I always say, let me see your side profile. Let me see your body. Let me see your tax returns. She also debunks all the allegations about her waist size being fake. She's very much real. Yeah. I am eyewitness. Thank you guys. She's real. But I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you very much. But how is this really possible? Well, some people believe that Sophia is doing a good workout routine. And while some believe also that she had a rib cage removal surgery, most believe that Sophia might just be lucky with her genetics. And in fact, it could be. Because apparently genetics plays a huge role in people's waist size. Some people naturally have a more pronounced waistline, while others have a straighter or less defined waist. And even though Sophia didn't really disclose the real reason of her impressively small waist, one thing's for sure, and that is she's happy with it. May this story remind us that love Loving our body is loving ourselves. Slay girl.